So Superstars, yeah, AET, they're doing a dino day, everyone's jumping on. Um, we've got these little like 45 minute slots. Got a couple of sponsors like Scorpions here and things like that. We'll see what happens. Nice M5. We'll go have a look when I get a little bit closer into the place, but yeah, I think it's gonna be good. We'll see what kind of power these boys are getting. I think what type of dyno is it? A um, hub dyno? Hub dyno, it says difference, you get the normal, yes, yeah, so you get a normal like rolling road sort of dyno and then you get the hub. The hub will give you better horsepower, better, yeah, basically you'll get more brake out of it. And then, you know, because you, you would lose a lot on the transfer to the rolling road and stuff if you did another type. But we'll see, we'll see what it's all about. And yeah, just stick with me and it is what it is. Here's a skill fit in the car. Selling those exhausts and all that kind of goodness. Here's my mate's monster. Beautiful car. It's an M5 monster. Check the brakes on this puppy dog right here. Ain't no messing about yet. Jesus, check that out, bro. Right? Got that carbon. Yeah, saw on the carriageway. Couldn't have a lick, but that is, yeah. Yeah, it's not too shabby. It's okay for a first time drive. Beautiful. So we got APR here too. Check all the cars. We're really early, so I don't know what's really happening yet. We'll see who's at where. Topping up all their banisters and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Early bird catches a worm and all that. Yeah. AET. And here's all the, all the cars. Oh, let's get some focus for you superstars. Yeah, it's still nice and quiet. Got the barbecue ready. Let's get that munch on. Here we are. Garage time. Loving it. Yeah, still really early. Too early. That's all the goodness is going to be going on. Here's your hub dinos. Should have bought my monster up. We've got four of them. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, a couple of cars coming through. Let's have a look what's kicking off in the garage. Yeah. It smells really nice in here. It doesn't smell like a normal garage. Nice and fruity. Yeah, so hopefully I'll catch a couple of cars on the dyno for you. Yeah, just stick with me. But yeah, it smells really nice in here, weirdly. It doesn't smell like a me mechanic shop. Yeah, so I'm just in here with Colin. He's about to pop the hub dinos on. Now, I'm gonna ask him a little bit about it and stuff, but yeah, got the first car. And what is this, Colin? Is it a diesel? It's a 125D. 125D, and is the, the dude just checking the power? Yeah, is he just yeah. seeing what he's got? Yeah, we're just gonna do a few dinos. Like, so okay, cool. So you're not doing any editing, it's just more of like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. just see what kind of power he's got. He's got a, bought a little bit of mud inside the shop, didn't he? <laughs> So what do you reckon the what's the good thing about the hub dyno? I suppose you get better power? Figures? Well, I suppose that rolling road you get a more accurate, For accurate sure. power result for that. Okay, cool. Obviously it's connecting straight to the road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you lose obviously a bit on the rolling road with the tires and all that the drivetrain sort of. Well, I mean on these is a drivetrain lots of like Oh yeah, true, yeah, yeah. My mistake, my mistake. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is it's the tires and all that kind of stuff, you lose a yeah, tiny bit, I suppose. Yeah. And um, I suppose it, yeah, it's a oh, it, it, it stays, it stays, board, a <laughs> I suppose it stays a bit more composed on the hubs. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, have a look at, <laughs> he is looking at the front wheel, that's <laughs> No, the um, yeah, I've, I've got to, I've got to do my car at some point. Okay, I haven't got a German. I've got a um, I've got an Impreza, but I've got to do a bit. Yeah, yeah, I've got to, got to do a couple of bit more bits to it before I chuck it on a diner. Yeah, but it's nice. My first performance vehicle, really. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did the guy that had it before. <laughs> 
His bed's his bed's chilling in the boot. Yeah. What is he doing? Come here. Come on. It's your car. Not me. Okay, boys. I'm gonna get back to it when they're gonna get the tires off. We're trying to discuss it. You're trying to figure out who's gonna take this tire off. Yeah, the, yeah. The guy who had my my car before, he um he darned it and stuff. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, he did it all. It do really looked after it. One owner, all that kind of stuff. It was wicked. Did about five, did about five thousand a year. Yeah, it was nice. But the thing is, I try to get the most clean example because you know they're rusty. They can rust, yeah. So, I, yeah, yeah. So I just tried to find the cleanest example I could, pay top dollar for that, and then I'll just mod it. Um, you know, put all the mods on myself. So we'll do all that. Yeah, when I saw him coming with that mud, I was like, that's that bullshit. This place smells amazing. It does not smell like a mechanic shop at all. It smells all fruity and shit. Yeah, there's enough fucking mud on that. Oh, it's that muddy. It stinks as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll ju we'll jump on it when, when it's attaching it to the hub, don't The unit that you got to fit. Yeah. You get that outside, she can fucking clean it up a bit. Yeah, so you boys just like you say 40 40 ish minutes today yeah. just 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 doing um, runs just to show the power of the car no, there's no editing or any you know no no changing maps or anything like that. no no it's just power runs so yeah, yeah for sure yeah. is it just like sort of promo the garage and stuff yeah, like yeah. and shit like that well it's just it's basically just to show off what we've got basically yeah it's cool it's a nice community thing that's yeah, what you got to yeah. get with the cars you got to get the community together, exactly man. dude and that's the thing like all this youtube stuff we and all these dudes yeah. Eh? Beamer. Yeah, so then that. How does that fit into the hub down there? Does it just slot in? Plus, basically? Yeah, it's blind there. Oh, okay, it's blind there and there. Okay, okay, okay. It just slots in. Oh, sweet. Are you getting it? Yeah. Are you one of George's friends, I take it, with camera? Nah, nah, nah. Just lone soldier, bro. You were on your own, or you were yeah, yeah, no, yeah, with some mates, yeah, with some of the dudes out there. Don't speak to me. <laughs> Don't speak to me. Oh, what's up, sugar? Do you want a cuddle? Uh, no, exactly. Okay. Oh, you're okay. Yeah, it's going on. I couldn't find one that had the washer jets and then what is the front PDC so I could retrofit it and the so only one's out. Are you just leaving that one on for a minute? Dude if I get in your yeah. way just give me a shout man. Yeah. Well that's got everything on it. Oh is it? I don't yeah, want to bother you doing PDC your own thing. PDC and the washer jets so it's just a bonus that it come with the one. You got hambre come. You come with Edward Jeff and Marlon separate. How'd you get the cross over? Separate. Now we should talk a lot. Oh, do you need do you need do you need the handbrake up to keep it stopped? No, no, you, need, you just need to spin on the hub. Oh, okay. Are you also a bit insurance now on that? Yeah, I know you. I thought you were in a bit of bother at one point before Martin. Well, it's fine. Some guy turned up here. Insurance when I first started. Massive red folder in there, wasn't it? Oh yeah, committed. Mate, that is. Oh, there we go. Huh? You can't be happy about this. Oh, no. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good. Cool. George, alright. Hi, George. You recording as well, yeah? What's going Not on yet? Right? Putting in that That's work. Okay. Uh, yeah. What's going on with your hair? My hair? This is... Uh, <laughs> I leave it like this so that no one can tell if I did do my hair or I got up late in the morning. You definitely got up late, didn't so, you? No, you I get up late fresh, every morning. Mate. If you blame him one, then when I, I go up one, it's dead. It's like, you're lame. That's all I know. It's funny because he goes, M1's so dead. So is, your, is yours good now? You're on the... Did you, did you get all locked, you locked in, yeah? So, all on, yeah. so that's all it? That's all it looked to me oh, like it was yeah. fun. Oh, sweet. Okay, we'll wait to get those runs going. Here's the cold air feed. I don't know if you can hear me. So yeah, the cold air feed there. Exhausting out the back. Main doors being open so everyone can record. Enjoy this bit. So the real camera crews start getting involved. 
loads of sand and stuff was flicking off even on me in the back end. Oh, it's actually made it worse since the sand's dried out because he's flicked it off. Wow. This is this is a garage. This is a garage, isn't it? This is a garage. Check that. M3 monster. There's a lot of M goodness. Check this M3 out. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh no man. This gets me emotional when I look at this shit. Look at that oh no man. This is just beautiful. Oh, come on. Hey, Scorpion, the exhaust for this M3. Chris, bro, you need to pop this exhaust on yours, bro. Mate. Don't know if the lighting's gonna do it justice, bro. See that? That's that goodness right there. Oh, everything for the gram, bro. Everything for the gram. Check that out. Oh, it just gets better and better. Look at it. M2, competition. Beautiful thing. Yeah. You want to see the cars in the car park as well. Insane. People there are really cool too. Like I say, it smells nice. Yeah, it's just a great vibe. Got to get this car community going nicely. It's just, oh, YouTube's bringing it all together, superstars. You know. Okay, the M5's coming in. And this thing is a monster, yeah? So hopefully yeah, we get to record. Uh, it's pretty pointless when I'm recording it when they're doing the dynoing because it's just too noisy and stuff. But yeah, this is a nice, nice car. Seriously. <laughs> Pass this thing on the carriage on the way up and it is, oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, great, great car. So we'll get that in. Oh, it's such a nice car. So yeah, we'll get there and re um, record, you know, the hub stuff going on and that. And pretty much won't go through the whole process, but just record a little bit so you guys can just see it and see what the whole environment's like. So, so relaxed. Still not too many people here yet, but yeah. yeah okay. I'm just describing how to drive the monster. And then, yeah, we'll chime in when it, when it comes and I'll get it recorded. Yeah, here comes the M5. Do you know what brake it's meant to be running? I'm not sure, it's a lot more. Oh my gosh, check this monster out. This needs anyway. <laughs> so gingerly, so ginger because of the gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you're okay this side. This way a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a car. What a car. Mate, that was a bit of a nervous parking thing. <laughs> I saw you do that. You're not going to go all that way a bit. It's wide, isn't it? Check you went too much yeah. over this way. Okay. Mate, check the brakes on this thing. Right, big banger. Oh, it's a monster. Actual monster. The doors are getting closed, getting locked in. You've got plenty of room at back, it's shut off. Because you could probably, even if you have to run it for extra, it's shut off. Take the brakes out on this monster. Beautiful. I'm gonna try and do that before we jack it all up. To describe to you how to this yeah. To describe to you how nice and clean this car is. It's, yeah, it's absolutely in tip top condition. So yeah, even removing the wheels and stuff is gonna be a task. You just have to yeah, everything's just perfect on this car. Yeah, yeah. There you go. No problem, sir. It'd be alright, like that. No, it'd be alright, like It's just like if the light breeze, just put them outside. The rear brakes are like bigger well, than my front brakes. Like Mate, the rear brakes are bigger than my front brakes, I'm like, <laughs> those are insane. 
No shitting you, dude. They're honestly bigger than my front yeah, brakes. I, I wonder if these are. Well, they even. Yeah, yeah, that's standard. Standard hub size. Dude, that is bananas. I want to go in this thing. Yeah. I want the guy to take you out in this. The brakes on this thing. Yeah, we're just setting it up. Oh, they look bigger with wheels. <laughs> 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 Mate, they're insane. That's brakes. In <laughs> See, I told you the rears are bigger than the front of mine. Oh, it's nuts, isn't it? Bloody hell. Yeah, just setting it up four-wheel drive mode. It's only going to be a two-wheel drive Dano session, but just putting it up in case. There you go. There she is. <laughs> Sorted. So it needs to cool down a little bit oil got a bit hot but what a monster 620 to the wheels so they reckon about 690 but that's insane huh that is top class stuff 620 to the wheels yeah messing about with this car absolute beast check it out nice huh such a nice car Owner's really cool too. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so basically what these tubes are, they are basically water cooling lines. Let's cool this down to keep the oil cool. And that's what's happening. It's got a bit too warm because this thing's got some of that bad boy power. And yeah, that's all this. So wait for that to cool down. It should be all good. My okay, fam's going on, so we ain't going to be able to hear nothing in a sec. But everyone's ready. There's the owner back there.
in. Yeah, so that was our boys, M5. It's done its thing. It's probably going to be the biggest monster on the, for the day. Yeah, say goodbye to that. And the rest are coming in. I think it's maybe RS3s, maybe M3s and stuff like that. Hopefully you can hear. It's quite noisy. But yeah, stick with it. I'm not going to record all the process of all of them now, but I'm going to show you them going in and stuff like that. But yeah, take a trip down. Really, really nice place. Dudes are cool, knowledgeable. And yeah, they've all got time of day for you. Ah, really nice place. Really nice place. A little bit of M3 goodness. It's a little bit tight. Check the carbon out, bruh. Bruh. That's a couple of people's dream cards as well. They sound pretty tasty on it. They sound pretty tasty. Yeah. Right in there, monster machine. Yeah, it's gonna have a couple of pops and bangs, I reckon. With the old snap, crackle, and pop. Wow, wow, well, we were. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Next one on, yeah? What power is this beast running, dude? Do you have a clue or not, really? What power is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, about 400. Yeah, four. eight, yeah, yeah. Oh, it sounds gorgeous as well, doesn't it? Just under 100 feet, so you've got it start with. Yeah, all systems go. Reckon about 400 brake for this monster machine. Beautiful thing. Kits it out, we've got the bucket seats, we've got the roll cage.
want it for us. Really? This is the this is the um, yeah this is the shops. No, so this one's running about three hundred and thirty. Um, again, another demonstration car that we've got, which is a road going car. It's yeah, I don't go near very often. Right? Yeah. Um, that's again a run. Well, just under um, three hundred and fifteen oh, wow. at the wheel. So yeah, again around about. 360, maybe a little bit more. It's not going anywhere now, is it? No, <laughs> not right now. No, we're, we're, uh, as we always do, just developing and yeah, yeah, sure, stuff. Sure. So, but that's the only way you can make something better, right? You buy it yourself, you fix it up, you show it, people what you can do with it. It's more time and pieces than it does. That's good, man. Again, mate, yeah, race car. It's um, again, if you're up inside, completely stripped. The only yeah, thing it's there. perfect. It's light, it's so light. It's insane. Messed up with the food, left it a bit too late. I ain't munching that. Man, somebody overcooked that bacon. That's what you get for taking too long to get on the munch. Superstar stuff. This is the, um, these are the ultimate panty dropper right here. The Mustang. Mustang time. R32 goodness. Nice. Bro, let's check the Porsche brakes out. Check the brakes out. Monsters.
So yeah, what can I say about AET Motorsports? <laughs> Wicked place, dudes are really cool, welcoming. I'd recommend you take your cars down there, go speak to knowledgeable. You've got that sort of race knowledge. Also doing with, dealing with people's basic, you know, just modding your day-to-day, -day, your daily drivers and stuff like that. Just, just really, really nice cars. Nice people, environment's clean. And the way I try and describe it to you is the way I felt when I was there compared to all the other places that I go to is you can tell they're passionate about cars and they care. So it's, they sort of treat the car like like it's theirs. It's it's hard to, hard to describe. We've done a few lately, a couple of friends who had cars done and stuff. It's just not the same as the vibe I got there. It, it's just different. It's more personable. They care, but yeah, it's just different. Hard, hard to describe. You go down there, they give you the time of day. I mean, I'll endorse them like all day. They, they, they haven't done my car, they never tuned mine, but just the way they treated people and stuff and ah, just different place. That's what we want in the car community. That's what we need. Like people are passionate about fixing your car and doing stuff. Yeah, you're paying for a service at the end of the day, but you don't just want to be treated like a number. And they, that's, they just, they, they just do it totally differently. And yeah, it's just nice. Really, really cool. So yeah, guys, thanks for the day. It was nice. Didn't get to manage to have a burger off the barbecue or anything like that, but maybe next time. And yeah, enjoy your superstars. Hope you guys liked the video.